Y'all, my name is Ray Lazor, and today we're going to play the sequel of GeoLan, The Lost Time. I tried recording this four times, but I decided I'm just going to do what I did for the first game, except that I'm going to be recording offline so I can cut all the videos and just end the recording whenever the grinding gets way too crazy. Once again, GeoLan is an RPG, so grinding is pretty much normal. It's a staple of the game. We're gonna get started with the names far as usual, the default name. We're going to be building strength and defense. They have two new stats called magic and speed. Magic is for the new attack system they put in, which will be encountered soon, and speed is for the higher chance of dodging. Millions of years ago, before us, before the Earth, and even before the universe, there was one big planet and one big sun. This planet was populated by some powerful magical creature called the Geo. Like that one circle over there with the little lines coming off of it. That's a Geo, right? <laughs> Once this world vanished into the creation of the universe, we lost a big part of our history. That was until a sage made the creation of three magical stones that had the power to make us see our forgotten history. Sadly, those stones were so powerful that they didn't show the past, but also create a parallel dimension. I'm sorry for messing up text, I don't know how to read. With this power out of control, the king ordered three stones to be placed in three temples guarded by a powerful guardian. Today there is a prophecy saying someday we will see the Geos come to this world. So I guess we're in the perspective of humans right now. What will they bring or take? Only the lost time knows. So looks like Svar is going to invade Ireland City which may be a human area. Anyways, we get started in our standard old little spot from the first game, ready to move on. Wait, I want to back out. Eddie, hug me. No, good luck on your journey, Svar. Eddie, you have an E in your name. You don't know how to spell journey. Let me go away. Where are you going? Home. Damn it. <laughs> Iron Long City, three miles ahead. All right, Yakov. All right, it's time to move. Follow me. I'm not going to keep that voice. Can you walk any any faster? This place could be dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, it is dangerous, Yakov. Right away, we encounter a Penta Pento, level two. Wow, you are really weak. Unfortunately, Svar is just as weak. Takes him two attacks to kill this thing. Come on, Svar. You're five times its level. Svar also gets a little fiery beamy whenever he attacks from now on. So that's lovely. This super silver beautiful chest decorated with gold, silver, blue elephant skin, some shit like that. And there's only two apples in there. That's as anticlimactic as the ending to Thousand Year Door. And we encounter another Penta Pento. God damn it, Penta Pentos. I swear to god, you die now. Fuck. There we go. Got another apple. Did we get another apple? We got another apple. I can see you! Alright, well, there's a question mark somewhere around here. Who's that question mark? It's Zacky! Let's play! And we encounter a weird green man in the forest wearing really shiny gradient pants. Where did he come from? Why is he here violating our forest bar? It is a bush rapist. That's, that's all you need to know. Look at how he's throwing his balls at Svar, that's not cool. Time's up! It's time for me to leave this world and get the prophecy started. The next morning, Svar wakes up in a bed, but something is different. His ass is bleeding! Hey, wake up! Hi, sleepyhead, my name is Yakov. Like the triangle. You fainted in the forest, so I decided to bring you to this cheap-ass motel. You don't have to worry about the bills, I already paid the owner, and you already paid me. <laughs> I 
Now if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting with the king. Maybe we'll see each other sometime. Goodbye. And just like that, Svar loses his asshole twice in a fraction of a second and turns from a circle into a young shot of boy. Lovely. <laughs> Let's get to it. There we see a girl with really fake pink hair, a save spot, two failed attempts of recording, a dude who looks like the king, a motel, which is really small and odd. Alright, well, I already played this game twice, so I don't know what to do for the first few bits. So let's talk to this dude right here, howdy. It seems like the Pento Forest is getting darker every day. Maybe if you go murder some helpless plants, it'll clean everything away. Go kill five and I'll give you an award. Alright. I can't let you off the town without a sword. Order of the King. Good thing you have money, Svar. I see ten dollars gets you two knights. <laughs> Sweet, and you get a sword. Everything else was sh expensive as shit. Guy tried to rip you off. 999 gold. No, 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 no. If you hang around here, you can go to the left. And this is a little arena battle. Don't worry about it. Go into this. This is a little gambling room. Don't worry about it. This is a guard. Don't worry about it. This is an empty room. Don't worry about it. <laughs> let's just let's just go. <laughs> we got our sword. We got a mission to kill plants. Let's go kill plants in the Pento Pento Forest. And a random spot right here. Nice to see that the gradient flowers are back. And we encounter a mad plant. And really shitty graphics. Spar, where's your chin? He has no chin. He is angry. He is 2D. This mad plant is unbelievably 2D. I like the grass though. The grass looks pretty good. Nice thick green outlines. And with that, Svar slays his first enemy. 4 EXP goes to Svar, 2 gold, and an apple. Human form rules. Except when you have to stare at your character all day while he's like that. Anyways, we're just gonna, gonna do the little killy thing real quick. We have quite a few to kill. I'm not cutting this out because it gets way too choppy based off my third attempt of recording, I believe. My second recording was trying to do something. I don't remember. It's fine, you sit through the grinding with me. Everything is okay. You don't have to worry about it. I would like just keep a watch on the clock and we'll just make sure that I never fuck it up. Also, by the way, I'm about to fuck it up. Let's eat an apple. There we go. Can we kill this mad plant? Yes, we can. Why does it have such luscious red eyes? Similar to Svars, which is actually brown. They're really wide open. Feels like someone tried to draw him anime style and failed really badly. It's okay. And we counter an albino mad plant. Is that how you use that word? I don't know. It's purple. It's weird. It's a palette swap. It's on a different map. We need mad plant equality. Why are they forced into a different map just because they're purple, huh? Rights for all man and plan. <laughs> Alright. And we kill it too. We gotta level up. We get an apple. And we get a stat point which we're gonna put on strength. Because we're gonna max out strength first. Unless I put defense. Then I put defense. I don't know what you want. <laughs> and with that, have I killed five mad plants? I have killed four out of five mad plants. We need to kill another mad plant. Well, mad plant, where are you? This guy's silly because I'm playing on Mo Fun Zone. And they have recommended games on the right, and you just see like this fuzzy Hulk like eating a rock or some shit. It's really distracting and it makes me feel really hyper. Anyways, we kill this mad plant. Never mind. You see, to be fair, Svar's on the 2D dimension entering the 3D. It's a bit odd. It's a bit disorienting when you have to fight 2D when your eye is like somewhere else. Alright, Ganja, Jacob. Not Ganja, Ganja is someone else. No one cares about Ganja. Fuck Ganja. We get 30 EXP and 5 gold. And I just realized there's a dude right here. Sup, dude? I heard the yak statues in the king's castle are made of 10% diamond. Alright, Afro, you sick fuck. 
thinking about axes and dirty ass shit. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's go. <laughs> so, 34 XP. The standard is, let's just grind again, get another level up, and introduce a new mechanic. Are there any mad plants here? Can I hit that bush? Will that bush give me a mad plant? I want a mad plant. Fucking mad plants, where are they? Is the forest already cleared out? Is that it? It's getting darker every day because there were like four populating the damn place. They're also really big. Shit, I would be scared if that was a real thing. Svar, Svar don't give a fuck. He spent his geo days just throwing his entire body mass at something. No, he, he ain't afraid to kill a, a plant or two. Man. Also, the music in the background is familiar. That's from Crystal Chronicles, Final Fantasy, Rings of Fate, blah blah blah. No cavey music. I like it. Good game. 10 out of 10. We play again. Cry during the end. What? <laughs> okay, let's kill a few more. This is all I can talk about. There's nothing else to talk about in this game. It's just about killing plants and shit. Later on you kill even bigger plants. And rocks. Not to mention ghosts. I heard there's a missing no. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just look at this far as beautiful, innocent, giant fucking eye. Christ, he doesn't blink! <laughs> Where did you get your clothes far? Okay. We have to kill about three more for a level up in advancement. Go so we'll kill another purple dude right here. Well, I wonder what the message for stab is. <laughs> I don't know why you need a tool tip for stab, but basic sword hit that causes decent damage. All right, there you go, stab. Nice. Yeah. Yes, far you stab that thing. Actually, no. Eat an apple. An apple translates to like. I don't know, 10 little arrows. It's dead now. It's okay. Two more plants to kill. Enjoy the music. I don't know what to talk about. The fog is horrible. It's an old game to be fair. Like really old. I don't know why they went human though. I really like the idea of geos. Like shapes fighting each other. Pokemon style. But I guess everyone has to innovate. Alright, our final man plant to slaughter. Slaughter, you dead plant. Plant, you dead. Dead plant. Damn, plant. You dead. We get a new attack. Which is between physical and magical attacks. Physical attacks are the ones from the first game, magical attacks are the new game stuff which uses MP. Fast attack is what we got last time. Ice tackle is when Svar turns to ice, I guess. Human combo is when you hit a thing twice for some reason. That's a combo. Two counts. And human is ice stab, which is stabby. We're just gonna go with magical attack. I tried physical attack already. I don't feel like it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We'll just use Ice Stab on this new plant. Look at that, 40 damage. You motherfucker, I wiped out two thirds of your health with three little points. How do you feel? You're dead. Exterminated. Go into that bush. You're out of here. Three strikes and you're out. All right. We go to the left and we encounter a very giant fucking castle thing with a completely incorrect key. That is one way to fit a key in, I suppose. Anyways. The possessor of the great stone step on this platform to travel to an alternate dimension. No, don't read signs, they're dangerous. It's a bad sign. Anyways, we gotta go back to town, we're gonna do that. Run, Spar, run. Slide away, Wee. Alright, go to our left and we will encounter Mr. Yakov again with his grey hair and his not a triangle. A sword, so I guess it's time for you to do me a favor. Again? Dude, you just had some last night! With a boy! It's not an easy task, but I need someone to do this job as soon as possible. Oh my god, they're docking. That's why he needed another sword. Across the line, there are three ancient stones hidden in three different temples. 
The king wants to study those stones. Is everyone in this fucking world just really, really gay? Three rocks, I just want them, you know? Just look at them. No one knows what awaits you in those temples, but I need you to bring those stones and bring them to the king. Once you're done, I'll give you a great amount of gold for your helpful service. Here's the key to the Irelon Temple. Good luck! You received the key. And like that, he phases into the Midnight. Christ. Can't get the blue ring yet. That thing is part of the giant ring collection. We got 10 to get. Like, maybe 3 are related to the storyline, so... Meh. I know where I should be getting most of them. Like, this boy right here. You were wondering why I didn't go in this house, didn't you? I'm really sick, but I can't afford a good doctor. If you have some spare gold, would you be kind enough to give me some? The jar gold is on the table, Sophia. Alright, well that's a jar gold. I'm gonna put a whopping zero in there, because I'm not ready to put money in that jar yet. I need that money. Soon, Sophia. Don't die on me. Anyways, we get the keys, so we're gonna wander all over the place and go back to the temple. Whoa! And like that, we encounter a ghost with really sweet hair. Sup, ghost? And you sell things like keys. I see we need more keys. Tips. The monster merchant only sells keys to those who are in need. Alright. Well, next time on Geoland The Lost Time, we will go into one of these magical three doors. It's pretty obvious which door we're going into. There's going to be some cutting next episode because there's going to be grinding. Toodles.